Hello everyone, this is Frank Ilo from Afi Design Studios. In today's video, I shall be teaching you how to create the pergola. Now, if you look at this very building, in the front of the building, you are going to see this. This is the pergola in the front of the building. And on the left hand side again, we have another one in red color. So this is another pergola. How do you create this? Most times, these pergolas and some other of its kind come as a component whereby you can download them from the internet. But when you are not able to find one on the internet, what do you do? You can improvise. So how do you improvise by creating the pergola by yourself on your building? That is what we are going to be learning in this very video as we hop into the Revit environment right now. So we'll go to Revit, click on Revit here. We are going to be applying this on this very building. How do you do that? The first thing you do is to go to the south elevation because this is the front of the building and this is where we are going to be putting or placing our pergola. I'm going to go to south, double click on south, double click on south. Once I've done this, okay, also take, a note, take note, you create pergola by using the extrusion tool, extrusion tool. So, we go to what is it called now the component click on this small arrow here click on model in place then click ok click ok again the next thing you do is go to extrusion click on extrusion it's going to bring out this once this comes out click on pick a plane and click ok once you've done that the next thing you're going to do is to select the plane where you want to create your pergola now I'm trying to hover around this wall, but you can see I'm finding it very difficult to highlight the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these ornaments. So you can see this it is the closest surface to the wall. So I click on this as my plane. The next thing I'm going to do is to begin to draw. But what is going to be the height of the pergola? I want the height to be 2.4 meters. So what I'm going to do now is this. I go to offset here. Inside the box, click on in, click in, uh, click inside there and erase. Then type 2400. Once you've done this, come to the floor of the building. Click here and move to your right. Okay, go this way. Once you've done that, next thing you're going to do is to go to offset here. You can see my cursor. Click on offset and inside the offset box, you type in the height of your pergola, the, sorry, the height of the metal itself, the height of the metal. So I want the height of the metal to be 150 millimeters. You know, the metal has a height and it has a thickness. So the height is going to be 150 and the thickness is going to be 100 millimeters. Okay. So once you've typed in this 150 millimeters inside this box, come to the line again offset upwards not downwards so i offset once i've done that i have to close up this opening here and this very opening so i go to line click on line and zoom it closer and click here and click here okay the next thing i'm going to do is come here click here and click here okay so once i've done that i'm, I'm good to go the next thing i'm going to do because i want the tip here the tip of the metal to be slanted or sharp i don't want it to be blunt i don't want it to be straight like this so what i'm going to do i'm going to slant it to do that i go to offset click on offset come inside the field here click here and type let's say um 300 i think that would be enough 300 so i offset this uh, vertical line then i go to line click on line Click at the tip here so you can make it so you can make it sharp. Click here and bring it here. Once I've done that, I press escape twice, then delete the two vertical lines. Delete the two vertical lines, then go to trim, click on trim, click on this side of the line, and click on this slanted side. We have gotten our sharp metal. Okay. The next thing is to give thickness to this metal. What is going to be the thickness? I go to my properties under extrusion end. Click inside the box and type 100, 100 millimeters. So having done that, the next thing is to assign a material to this very pergola. 
what is the material you want it to have is it a metal is it going to be wooden is it going to be plastic or is it going to be concrete so but i want this to be metal okay you can also make it stainless so let's make it either metal or stainless so i come to material here and go to by category click here the next thing i'm going to do come to this material library and look for any material of your choice let's see if we can get stainless or let's see metal let's click on the search uh, search field and type metal 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 it's going to bring out all the metals you have here okay you can see aluminium you can see steel okay do we make it aluminium okay let's make it all you can make it copper i don't know i don't know i don't know so it's up to you it's up to you which do we go for let's go for copper no let's go for aluminium okay i go for aluminium no let's go for copper sorry about that <laughs> click okay so when you click OK, then click Finish. Then Finish again. So you can see our copper. So when you click on this default 3D view, you will see the pergola already there. So I'm going to shift it because it's not touching the wall. It's not touching the wall because we didn't place it on the wall when we were choosing our plane. You know, we used this ornament so it is not touching the wall. So how do you push it to the wall? Go to East Elevation. Go to East Elevation. So you can see. You can see the gap from the wall. So click here. Go to Move. Click on Move. Then make sure you come to this constraint. If it is checked. That is if it is checked. Uncheck it. And check this join. Why do you do that? If you didn't do that, if it is checked, you cannot move this very object. You can never, be, you can never move it. No matter how you try until you uncheck your constraint so when you click here now and move it so when you have done that the next thing you are going to do you know there are different there are, there are various metals along the line so what is going to be the spaces between each of them between them what is going to be the spaces between them okay what you do now is this there's another way to do a, a an easier way to do it which is going through array but since i've not taught array I want to use this simpler um, this one for you okay so i go to annotate click on annotate click on detail line once you've done that go to offset i want the spacing to be 600 let the spacing between them be 600 so i click on this tip and go like this and press escape twice then click on the objects go to copy zoom in Click on this tip here and move. Make sure you're on a straight line. Okay. Once you've done this, you are going to now copy in multiple places. Copy in multiple places. So you go to copy again. But this time around, you can see multiple. Check it. Once you've done that, come here. Don't click on this, but click on this very one here. And begin to click at the same spot. At the same spot okay then once you are done escape twice then click delete this line if you go to default 3d view you will see what we have so this is what we have here this is what we have so the next thing we are going to do is to create the perpendicular or the crossing crossing bars the crossing bars so to do that we go to south elevation when you come here sorry go to east so when you go to east go to architecture click on architecture click on components click on model in place okay okay click on extrusion click on pick a plane and click okay then select the wall get it highlighted first then click on this then you draw from here to here go to offsets go inside the offset field and type the height which is 150 millimeters then offset this go to line click on line and close this opening 
for this very opening opening for you to close it i want it to have a projection i don't want it to terminate here so i go to offset click on offset and type like let's see 450 millimeters so if i click here now it will not close in here if you go a little bit further so press escape twice you can see where we have it now so there's a gap between them use trim click on trim to trim them to close them up click on this one and click on this one so we have it so we're going to make it sharp as well so what, what do i do i go to offset click on offset and offset this by go to the field and type 300 300 and offset this like this go to line click on line and click on this edge and bring it here press escape twice to end delete the two vertical lines delete the two vertical lines then trim click here click here and click here so you are done make sure you give it thickness I want the thickness to still remain the same so i'm not going to change this and i want the material to so now for the sake of this video for the sake of this tutorial i want to give it another material you may not want to do that in your actual design okay so it's because it's good for them to have uniform material so i click on material i want to give this one aluminium okay so i click on this field the search field type metal again and it will come out then select aluminium i am doing this so that we can see how two of them looks like the aluminium and the copper i want to have a feel how they look like so i click finish here click finish again so you can see the aluminium how it looks like so go to default 3d view so this is the aluminium okay so we are we are going to space it out again so we'll go to south elevation you go to south go to annotate click on detail line go to offset and type clean that one first and type 600 so i come here click here and go up but the line is going on my left hand side i want it to be on my right hand side so what do you do go on your keyboard and click on the space bar when you click on the space bar it will go to your right so you now once you you are sure that it is, it is straight, click, then press escape twice, click on this, and click on copy, and move first. It is not time for you to, you can see, like I told you before, it cannot move. It couldn't move because constraint is active, so click on it to uncheck, so you can now move it. Okay, press escape once or twice, press escape twice. Then click on the material itself, the object. Click on copy. And click on multiple if it is not activated. Click on this place. And move. And move. And move. And move. And click. And click. I think this is enough. So press escape twice. Click on this line and delete it. Go to default 3D view. So this is our pergola. You can see that giving it different colors does not make sense. You know, it is good. If you're using aluminum, use aluminum. If you're using copper, use copper. It will make it more appealing. Thank you once again for watching this video. I remember Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studios. Do not forget. To subscribe to our channel and also like this video it helps us a lot it helps us a lot thank you very much and bye